One of the most popular videos on my channel is about using an older version of Minitool Partition Wizard in order to copy your OS from one drive to the other. Now, because this video has gotten so popular, Minitool actually reached out to me, gave me a license code for the pro version of the most recent version of Minitool, and I wanted to go ahead and talk to you about what the pro version gives you, what the newer version of Minitool gives you, and if you stick around to the end, I also do have a giveaway for a couple of codes. Now, if you did not watch that older video, Minitool Partition Wizard is exactly what it says. It is a partition manager. It allows you to manage both partitions and disks really well in a really nice interface and all in one place instead of in a hopping around between different programs or different pieces of software. Now, we have Minitool Partition Wizard open here. And as you can see, there are a lot of options over here on the side. We have a bunch of wizards that will walk you through steps to do multi-step processes like migrating your OS, copying a partition, copying a disk, or recovering a partition. We also have the ability to change so you can move and resize partitions, you can extend them, merge them, split them, change cluster sizes, convert from NTFS to FAT or from FAT to NTFS, and you can set a partition as the primary partition as well. You can also delete, format, copy, align, you can do a whole bunch of things from here, um, including things that you can do for free and very easily within Windows itself, like setting the label or changing the drive letter. But having all of these within one place is really nice. Now, also the nice thing is that the partition wizard includes the ability to benchmark your drives to see if they're performing at the rate that they should be. It also has the ability to check for errors or issues with a particular drive. This is really nice to have. You can also check the information of a particular drive or partition, and you can also analyze the space being used on a particular drive or partition, which is nice as well. Now let's hop into the discussion of free versus pro. I know a lot of people don't like paying for software. I don't often pay for software unless it's something that makes my life super easy and it's relatively affordable, but let's go ahead and talk about the differences. Now in the free version, you're able to create, delete, format partitions. You're able to do the moving, resizing, and extending of partitions as well. You can check your file system and you can convert from FAT to NTFS. Now, there are multiple versions of the pro version of Minitool, but the main gist of it is that you get everything that's in the free version. You can convert from dynamic to basic disks. You can migrate your OS, which is probably one of the most popular features that people would want it for. You can copy your OS to another disk as well. You can convert your OS disk from MBR to GPT. And the reason that a lot of these are not very easy to do is because when you're in Windows and using Windows and a piece of software within it, Windows is currently active. So copying those files that are currently in use is not an easy process. And what Minitool and a lot of these other tools do is they have a way of making sure that those files are no longer in use in order to copy them over. Now they all do it in a different way, but this is one of the main reasons why it's not just as simple as copying and pasting files. And the last thing the pro version gives you, which is really nice, is the availability to create bootable media. Now I've done a bunch of videos recently on some incredible tools that are on bootable USBs, and Minitool was actually a part of one of those pieces of software, and it is really, really nice either to recover a computer that is currently having issues and save some of the data that's on one of those disks, or to plan for the future in case your computer gets into a situation like that where your OS no longer boots and you need to be able to recover some of the information on those drives. Now on the topic of why would you pay for this if there are ways to do some of the things in here for free. And one, as with the older video, if you look at the comments, there are a lot of issues with the older version there are bugs and those things are not going to be fixed because again, it is an older version. Two, some of the other methods that I've talked about are much more technical and not as easy for someone who is not technically savvy to get through. And using software like this, where everything is super easy and a very easy to follow interface is a much more reasonable ask for someone who's not tech savvy. And three, when you pay for a software, you get support for it. You're able to, if you run into an issue, you're able to reach out and ask questions and they will fix or help you fix your problem. Now, I'm not a huge fan of locking things that someone might wanna do only once behind a paywall. And it's the reason that I did create those other videos. But on my other video, there are a lot of comments where someone's like, hey, I'd rather just pay 
this amount of money in order to get it done and get it done easily without having to worry about it. And I completely understand where that's coming from. The nice thing is mini tool, you can get the one year annual subscription of the standard pro, which includes the ability to do all the OS stuff for $60. So it's not break your bank money, which is nice. And as I mentioned, I also do have four codes of the pro lifetime subscription available to give away. I'll have a link down in the description below for where you can go ahead and enter that giveaway. And again, it is a pro lifetime subscription. Now, with all that said, if you do want to go ahead and check out mini tool partition wizard version 12 for yourself, whether it's the free or the pro version, go ahead and use the link that I have down in the description below. And I'd really like to know what you guys think. Is it worth paying for a pro version of the software? Would you rather go through the hoops to kind of go through a more technical process and able to do these things for free? What do you guys think? Now, I do hope you found this video helpful, and if not, I at least hope you found it interesting. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you like, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, I try to get to them all as quickly as possible. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors, Thoughts Line and Step Back, and thank you for watching to the end of this video. If you do want to go ahead and check out any of my other computer software or tips and tricks videos, you can check out the playlist right up here. As always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next Saturday.